Are you a little intimidated or scared by working in Fusion? I gotta be honest, I am too sometimes. But that's why I'm trying to make some videos here about easy things we can do and create here in Fusion. So recently we talked about how to take our frame here, drop us down into the corner of the screen like this, and just put us on top of another video. I use it all the time in my tutorials. And I had somebody ask the question, well, how do I throw a border around the outside of the frame? That's easy to do here in Fusion 2. I'm gonna show you how to do it. That's what we're talking about today, guys. Fusion doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't have to be complicated. Let's jump into Resolve and I'm gonna show you how to add this border around the outside here. Let's go. So we're in DaVinci Resolve here. I'm in the Edit tab right now. And this is what we ended up with after that last video, if you had seen that. And we have our little box around our video. Exactly what we want. Now we wanna add a border around there. So for example, if I just turn on my, uh, my background layer here, you can see that right now we've got a little drop shadow going on here, but there's no border. We say we want a black border around that entire image. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna select our clip and we're gonna jump on over into Fusion right here, the little uh, magical wand there at the bottom. And we're in Fusion, click on that guy. So now we're in Fusion and here's what we already had. We had our rectangle as well as our drop shadow. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna disconnect the drop shadow for now real quick. I'm gonna click shift or I'm actually gonna hold shift on my keyboard, click on the drop shadow and just drag him right off of uh, the line there and it's gonna disconnect it. So now the drop shadow is no longer working. You can see no drop shadow up there now. So the first thing that we need to do is add a transform node. Now, why do we need to do that? We have to add the transform node because if we look at our video, right now we're at the very edge of our frame. If I zoom out a little here, you can see along the edge, we're at the bottom already and at the top of the frame. So if I try to add a border in, it's not gonna work. We're not gonna see it. So I need to shrink that video down just a little bit uh, so that we've got some space to add in that border. Now, let me preface this with saying that there's probably a lot of different ways to do this. Now, honestly, as a relatively new fusion worker here, um, there's probably a better way to do it, but this is the way that I'm going to show you how to do it. It's still pretty easy, um, but I'm sure you guys and some of you folks out there might have a better way to do it. Feel free to drop a comment and help us all out if, uh, if you've got a better and quicker way to do it. So anyway, I'm going to come down to my median one and I'm going to click on a transform node which is this guy right here. So by already selecting the median one and clicking the transform, it's automatically gonna add it in and connect it up. And by adding it after my median one, it means I'm already gonna keep the rectangle that has our edges in it, right, that we want. It's gonna keep that. And now we're just gonna take what we see on the screen here and we can scale it. So I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit by clicking and holding here. And I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit. And that looks like it should be enough because I don't want a huge border. We're just gonna add a little thin black border around the outside of the video there. So once we have that, the next thing we need to do is add in a background node because this is gonna be where we can have our black color for the border. So in order to do that, I'm gonna click the transform node and then I'm gonna come on up to this guy right here, which is background. I'm gonna click on it. And when I do, you notice it automatically adds in a merge node for us. So what's a merge node? It just says, hey, take this thing and this thing and put it together, right? And we're gonna put that together in a merge node. So pretty easy. If you have the transform node selected, it's automatically going to put in that merge node for you. If you don't have that transform node selected, you can add in your own merge node by clicking this guy right here, and then you can hook it up however you'd like. So right now you see our screen is black and that's not what we want. So why does our screen look black? Well, we want our video to be on top and we want the border to be behind it, right? And right now that's flipped. We have our video in the back and we have our border on the top, which is that full background, right? Because we didn't tell it what shape to be yet. So we have that in the background. So if we look at our merge node right here and you hover over the little arrows, notice the yellow one says background and the green one says foreground. So that means that right now our full black background, which we're gonna make into the border, is currently in the front and we don't want that. So we just wanna switch these two guys around. So I'm just gonna click this little triangle here, or little square, I should say, drag it over and drop it on the yellow triangle. And we notice now they're both connected. We don't want the green one connected, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, click on the line and disconnect it. Move down a little bit, boom, disconnect it. So now I'm gonna take my transform node, gonna grab the little square, and I'm gonna connect it up to my merge node on the green triangle, which is gonna put it in the foreground. And boom, now you can see we've got our video on top of our black background. But now you're saying, Jay, I just want a border. I don't want a full black background, right? So how do we do that? Well, we're gonna use the rectangle that we've already created because we want it to be the same shape and same size, right? Well, size actually, we want it to be a little bit bigger, but the same shape. 
So I'm just going to select my rectangle. I'm going to use Command or Control C to copy it. I'm going to just right, uh, click normal left click out here in the node area, and I'm going to hold Command or Control V. Now it's going to paste that rectangle. So I'm just going to bring this over, and I'm going to connect it up to my background node. Now if we just organize these guys a little bit more here, so it's nice and clean. So this rectangle is going to tell the background, hey, use this shape, right? Which is the shape that my video is already in, right? With those rounded edges and everything like that. So I'm going to select the square here. I'm going to pull it, drag it, and connect it up to the blue triangle on the background node. Now you see we've got a background node going on there, and the size of the rectangle is slightly larger than the video that we have. Now, that rectangle, remember, when we first started, it took up the entire screen, but we added this transform node to shrink it down. But we did that after we already had the shape that we wanted. So when I copied that rectangle, it's still the full size of our frame right here. It goes all the way to the top and the bottom of our frame. So when I connect it up to my background node, it automatically is a little bit bigger than the uh, rectangle for our video. And we can come in and select our rectangle. Now we can change the size of it if we'd like. We can change the width of it if we want our border bigger or smaller. And you can do it to both your height as well as your width. So you just make it look however you want, and then you're good to go. So if I just leave it like this and I don't do anything else, I can jump back into my edit tab. And now when I look at my video right here, we can see we've got our black border, right? And if I come in here and I can just resize it in the edit tab, you can see we've got the border going on right around the edge there. Cool, looks good. Now you're saying, hey, I like that drop shadow. I want to put that back in there. How do I do that? Let's jump back into Fusion. So hit the little wand at the bottom there. So we still have our drop shadow hanging out over here, right? So all we have to do is just click on it, hold your shift key, and drag it over top of the line, and you notice the line turns blue. When it does, just let go of your mouse. Boom, it drops it in, and now we've got our drop shadow back in there, and we can see it. So if we jump back into our edit tab right here, you can see we've got our drop shadow back on our clip. And if we come in our edit tab here and we scale it up or we change the size of it in here, everything is going to scale proportionally because we left the video, you know, as big as we could in Fusion, and that's where I did my effects. And then when I came over here into the Edit tab, now I can resize it and make it whatever size I want. And I like to do it this way just because I feel like it gives me more options when I'm zooming up, zooming down in my tutorials, or, you know, whatever kind of video you might be making. It just makes it really easy just to work on scaling things only in the Edit tab. I don't have to jump back into Fusion if I don't want to. Uh, you can just leave it right here. You're good to go. Now, there are times when I'll say, you know, maybe I'll have my video down here, right? And I'll have it in the, the, the corner of my video. I'm talking. And then let's say when I'm editing, I'm going to make a cut right here. And then let's say for this part, I want it to go back to full screen, right? In order to do that, I can just select my clip, come into the inspector over here, and I'm just going to reset everything. And notice it puts it the same size as we originally created it in Fusion, but let's say when I go this big, I want it to be, you know, full screen, look like a normal video. How do you do that? You can just disconnect your nodes really easily. So if you jump back into Fusion, so we can just remove our drop shadow again by selecting it, holding our shift key and pulling it off of our little node tree there. So now my drop shadow is gone. Now, the only node that I really need here, if I only want to see like full screen, normal video is our median one, which is our actual video clip, right? So I can disconnect everything else. Right, I can just disconnect by clicking on the line, disconnect, and I'm going to take my media one and I'm just going to connect that to my media out. I might have to disconnect this one first, drop it in, boom, and there's my full screen video. So jumping back into the edit tab, right, you're watching the video right here and it's going to pop me up like this. Boom, and there we go, right back up to full screen. So that's how you can really easily do some basic fusion stuff here, just to throw yourself in the corner, add a border, uh, add a drop shadow, how to just disconnect them so that you can pop yourself back up full screen. It's really easy and it's pretty basic things to do here in Fusion. I use this all the time in my videos, especially for tutorials here, but there's a lot of different kind of applications that you guys can use to do the same kind of thing in your videos too. So that wraps up this one, guys. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I hope you're getting a little bit more comfortable with Fusion by me making these easy videos here for you. I know it helps me just making these easy things and having to explain it to you guys. It helps me be able to get a little bit better at Fusion too. So we're learning this together, guys. We're in it together. We're going to be creating some more easy Fusion stuff here as we move forward this year. And uh, yeah, with that said, guys, leave any questions or comments down below. If you're having trouble, let me know. I'm always happy to help you out. And uh, with that said, guys, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.